Testing, testing, one, two. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Ah, bright light. I am back again eh, with an update to my future bit Apollo Litecoin Miner. It has literally made its return on investment. Yeah. I call that a good thing, I think. But yeah, I've had my future bit Apollo right here for a full freaking year. It mines at a hundred mega hashes per second. Now you're probably going to say this thing costs about what? 400 bucks. 400 dollars. The thing makes a hundred dollars a year. So how did I make my return on investment on it? Well, several things has happened in the world of cryptocurrency. Dogecoin has went up in price. People have been pumping Doge. That I've been mining. Not only have I been mining Litecoin, which is my future bear Apollo, but I've been also been mining Dogecoin as well. And I've been holding, holding my Dogecoin. And thanks to me holding my Dogecoin, that actually made its return on investment in Dogecoin alone. I mean, here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Dogecoin. Right there. Dogecoin. Now, the time when I got my future by Apollo, Dogecoin was not nearly that freaking high at all whatsoever. It was worth less than a penny. Way less than a penny at the time last year. And now, look at Doge. Dogecoin. Anywhere between six to seven, anywhere between six cents and seven cents. It was at eight cents the other day. And thanks to this reset, Pop and doze if my camera would walk and stay put. And since the recent price of Dogecoin got pumped, yes, my so called non, my, yeah, my so called non profitable ASIC has made its return on investment and then some. I'm not going to disclose how much I made within that time of holding off all my doge but let's just say it's a lump sum but yes any ASIC can be profitable if you know what you're doing and I've been getting a lot of heat lately from, a, from some people on social media Facebook and whatnot about my Z9 Mini because I bought me a Z9 Mini e e this month. No, it was last month when I bought it. Well, no. Yep. Yeah, it was this month when I bought the thing. Anywho, my Z9 Mini, somebody on Facebook says, why you buy that? Why did you buy that? You never got make your return on, on investment. And because the cost per kilowatt hour, it uses 300 watts. Well, I paid $400 for my L3 Plus, And it did make its return on investment. I paid $60 for my Z9 Mini. Now, here's the thing about mining any type of cryptocurrency with any mining equipment. I don't care if it's a GPU, an ASIC, sick, a lap. Well, I don't recommend doing it on a laptop. Or even your home computer with a decent graphics card in it. And if you know what you're doing with any type of mining equipment, you can either double or triple for your... Uh, you can... You can double, if not triple, your money when it comes to cryptocurrency. You just gotta know how to do it. Me? Yeah, 
I've been getting paid out in Litecoin and Doge with my future bet Apollo. But the key on how I made my return on investment within a full year of having that was I traded some of my Litecoin into Doge as well. Even though I'm getting paid out in Litecoin and Doge with that by merge mining because Doge is a merge mineable coin with Litecoin, I still put a little bit of my Litecoin into Doge. I still put a little bit of my Litecoin into Doge coin here and there. And that is how it made my return on investment. I tripled. I pretty much made, not tripled, but I 10 x my crypto. Yeah, I 10 x it just by doing what I do. Now, I wasn't expecting my Doge coin, for Doge coin to go up that high. I was expecting it to just stay zero dollars, period. That's what I was expecting. I never thought that Dogecoin would go up. But I did make my return on investment on my future by Apollo. I do not believe in any way, shape, or form that there is a such thing as a non-profitable ASIC. Any ASIC, period. Any ASIC, even the low USB ASICs can be very profitable if you know what you're doing. Yeah, you can mine a little bit here with a USB ASIC and make like pennies a day, but you never know. Those pennies a day and with the price of that particular crypto that you're mining and goes up in price, you can make out pretty good. Pretty much what I'm saying is, I see cryptocurrency as playing the stock market. You buy, sell, and trade. In terms of crypto miners like myself, I mine it, I trade it into something that might go up eventually, and if it does go up, I make my profit. That's how I do it. Now, several different things that you gotta realize, any crypto getting into cryptocurrency in general is a big risk whether you're buying a gpu for mining or buying an asic or mining on a cpu or anything and this is what some people don't realize is that any type of investment is a risk I know the risk of me buying my Z9 Mini. Yeah, okay? I know. Ooh, people say, oh, you shouldn't buy it. it. Why did you buy it? I don't care what those people say. I'm going to buy and mine with whatever I want. I mean, it ain't my fault that I know what I'm doing. But the key is... You got to make certain decisions when it comes to cryptocurrency. Whether you're going to hold your crypto, sell it, or whatnot. And some miners, all they care about is how much money that they can make in cryptocurrency. I'm not like that. I really get two shits whether or not I ROI on any of the ASICs that I have as long as they make their return eventually if they do that's good if not oh well I'm not that big on the return on investment I am happy that my future bear Apollo made its return on investment finally within a year but even if it didn't make its return on investment, even if it didn't, I'll still be happy with what I got, nonetheless. But, <laughs> uh, good news is, I did make my return. Um, let's see, seeing that the price of Dogecoin's going up, 
which is surprising. Um, let's see, Litecoin's gone up. Up, um, I hear good things about Ethereum right now, doing some good things. Elon Musk just put a bunch of money into Bitcoin. And he put a, little bit, a bunch of money into Doge as well, apparently, I think. And he's Elon Musk, the one that pretty much pumped up the price of Doge, which I could act, which I saw that one coming a mile away, seeing that he's the owner of Tesla. Um, let's see, what else? Um, uh, not much to talk about. But I'm still waiting. I, ah, I'm still saving up some money to get me a power supply for my Z9 Mini. I'm not going to get one for it quite yet because one, it's too damn cold. And two, I rather do things where it's nice and warm. And three, when I do get my power supply, get a power supply for my Z9 Mini, believe me, my next video, you guys are going to be hearing this. Well, in, my, in the next video I do on my Z9 Mini, whenever that is, or whenever I get a power supply for it, I guarantee you this room, not only is it going to be hot, but you probably going to be wanting to put earplugs on for that video because it's going to be loud as all hell in here. I probably won't even be able to sleep in here with that thing going, but I'm going to try. But with that being said, I just thought uh, I'll let everybody know that I made my return on investment on my future Apollo. And like I said before, I'm not going to disclose who's how much I've actually made either, either whatnot or how much I've sold or anything like that but I'm just glad that everybody is liking my videos and leaving good comments and with that being said my name's Jason Osborne like comment and subscribe and I hope you guys made your return on investments on the mining equipment that you got. I hope you guys are doing well. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. Hit the bell notification. And so that way you can be personally notified when I put up another video. Oh, and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen of the crypto world, I am out of here and happy mining. Return on investment. Return on investment.